Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I wanted to show you how I took this unwanted piggy bank that I got from the Goodwill store and turned it into something a lot prettier than how it started out. And I'll show you the very easy steps that I took in order to do this. I know that a lot of you do crafting with your daughters, your granddaughters, your nieces, or you just make gifts for people, and this is a really nice idea. But it's also pretty if you keep it somewhere in your bedroom and you just put your spare change in it like I'm going to do from when I get coffee or go to the grocery store or run into the drugstore. Just put all of my change in here. I just want to mention two things before we start this. You want to make sure that the background color of your napkin matches the color of your piggy bank. And I obviously had to paint this. The other thing I wanted to mention was my paint wasn't adhering very well to this surface. So to be on the safe side, I coated the whole thing with chalk paint. Unfortunately, I didn't have the color chalk paint that I needed for my napkin. So I painted it with white in the chalk paint and then I took acrylic paint over it that perfectly matched the background of the napkin. And once I painted the whole piggy bank and let it dry, I then selected a napkin and I'm going to be cutting out these images from the napkin. And to make that a lot easier, I took just a piece of uh, old paper from my planner and I placed the napkin over it and I cut around the images that way. You can also tear the images out. Since we've got the matching color of the background over the piggy bank it won't matter if you cut the images out exactly or tear them out and have a little bit of the excess paper around the outside of your image once i was all done cutting everything out i made sure to separate my napkins and then i began to decoupage and by the way for this area up top where the slot is where you put the change you want to make sure you cover that because here's what i did i decoupage this over that opening and while it was still wet I took the other end of my paintbrush and pushed those papers down inside and then with the brush went back in there pressing the papers down along the inside then I just continued to decoupage my napkin pieces all over different areas of my little pig And once it was dry, I added one more coat of decoupage glue over the whole surface and let that dry. And once that was all dry, I took my toothbrush and I just like to add a little splatter paint all over using the same color as I originally painted the little piggy bank. And I also added a couple of these adhesive flat bag crystals over the area where the eyes are. As this is sitting in such a sunny spot in my room, I took some triple thick glaze, and you can use the brush on or the spray on, and then I added glitter. And I used a pink and silver glitter, and I tend to go a little heavy on the glitter. That's completely up to you. So I just continued adding my triple thick glaze to the whole surface and kept adding glitter over it. And then I put that aside to dry. And now that it's all dry, here's how our little piggy bank looks. This is inside, it's underneath some nice halogen lights. I'll take it outside to show you how it looks out there too. But I'm very happy with this little gem that was discarded in the Goodwill store and she's now going to be used to add all of my spare change into. Doesn't that look really cute? If you have a little girl anywhere in your life or a young girl or even for the young girl in you, this is a really cute project and I was really excited because I don't know about you but I've just been throwing my change into a bowl on the desk. And then I go out at the end of the month and get more craft supplies. <laughs> but here's our project for the week. Here's how she looks outside. 
So I will also have a list of all of the supplies you'll need over on my website. The link is down below. You can just copy that list down or you can even shop on my website and get the supplies. I've been collecting these beautiful napkins for about 10 years, so I can't always guarantee that I can find the same napkins. Sorry about that. But I will have other beautiful napkins that you can purchase listed over there on my website. And since my website does go through Amazon, you can also get all of the rest of your shopping done. So let's say you want to purchase some napkins and some napkin decoupage glue and you get that on my site and you think, you know what, I really need to get some more supplies for back to school or I have to get something for Halloween or the fall. You can stay right on that Amazon site through my site and just go up to the search bar and look for whatever it is you need. And thank you for that. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for clicking all of those like buttons. I'm sure you guys know that that means everything to us when we work for YouTube. So thanks again, my friends. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye, guys.